guys. I wanted to make a video about um, how to properly chalk the flask and the difference that chalk can make on the flask. Um, in, in my other video about the flask, I do mention that you know every flask is the same and will stay the same because they're made from aluminum. You know, they don't rust or, or corrode or anything like that. But the difference that you can make is in how you can chalk it. They all hold chalk, and the way you put it on there will largely determine how good a friction you can you can get on the surface of it. So right here we've got a freshly washed flask. I just put hot water on it and scrubbed it with a sponge until all the chalk was gone. And then here we have a uh, well well chalked flask um, that is the one that I, I typically train with. So I've got about 75 pounds on each one of these. Um, so let's see if I can pick up, see if I can pick this one up with no chalk on it. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I get a little moisture, that might help. So I hopped it a little bit, and here is the chalked flask. So as you can see, the chalk makes a little bit of difference. So now I'm going to show you how to properly chalk it so that you can get it to be like the one on the right. All right. So what you want to do is sit down with your flask and use a, a liberal amount of chalk and just kind of put it on the surface where you're going to be gripping. And a thing to note is while this does hold chalk and if you just rub it on there gently it'll get a little bit of chalk on there. You won't get the same kind of surface um, that you can get if the chalk is actually pressed in. So what you actually want to do is kind of spread the chalk around a little bit and then take the heel of your palm, this area, and just press down really hard and make a grinding motion like you're kneading some really hard bread. And you're going to make a big mess, so just be prepared. But just kind of grind it in there. And I'll take this uh, opportunity to mention that there's another video out there on how to chalk devices. Actually, uh, quite a few videos from this guy on how to chalk lots of different things um, by John McCarter. And I'm going to leave a link to that in the... Uh, in the description so if you've got a little extra time and you want some I mean honestly better advice on how to chalk it because he's he's a lot more detailed than, than I am um, <clears throat> you can click and watch his videos and he's a very very strong pincher but as you can see as I've rubbed on this flask with the chalk a little bit you're starting to get kind of a rough surface there and uh, the chalk the chalk isn't just floating across the surface it's actually stuck there so I can't just wipe that off which is what we're looking for so once you've done one side then you want to flip it over scoop some of the chalk up off of your, your jeans you can also take a chalk block and kind of right on the surface before you do the grinding action but then you just dig that heel in there and grind it Grind it in there. 
And this is the motion that I use almost every time that I chalk it. It's kind of like I'm waving, but I'm just pushing my palm in really hard. So once you've done that, you've got a pretty decent, pretty decent texture on there. Um, also, you want to pay attention to this edge. Make sure that you're hitting that with your palm too. And you can kind of do that number to it, and that'll apply a little texture, which is important because you want to make sure that your web will catch on there really good and give you a little bit of extra, um, extra friction. Anyway, so now that I've got this chalked up a little bit, let's see if I can pull the, the 70, 75 pounds with it. All right, so we've got the uh, freshly chalked flask over here on the left, and here's the old flask that was already well chalked. So let's see, let's see what a little bit of chalk can do when you grind it in. Yep. No problem. And uh, you know, every time you use it, just rub a little extra chalk in there. For more videos like this, uh, talking about grip implements and how to make your grip better, um, make sure to subscribe. If you like this video, hit, hit that like button. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Thanks.